Have you ever felt like you're being watched but didn't know why? For at least this feeling would lead to a terrifying discovery. She had just gone through a really messy breakup and had to move out. She found a studio apartment on the other side of town, but when she got there, she saw a bunch of things were left behind, including books, clothes, and a long mirror propped up against the wall in front of the bed. But when she called the landlord, he said that the previous renter didn't want them anymore, so at least put everything in a bag to deal with later. She decided to keep the mirror though. She went to bed that night and woke up to soft rustling noises. She began to feel uneasy. She looked around and swore that she saw a long shadow move across her room. But maybe it was just the trees. She tried to ignore it, but all through the night, she felt a pair of eyes on her. The next day, she convinced herself she must have just been feeling anxious because it was her first night living alone. But she went to bed again and couldn't sleep. She heard the same rustling noises, opened her eyes, and saw a long shadow was now standing in front of her bed. She turned away for a second to turn the light on, but stumbled, and before she knew it, the shadow was gone. When she woke up, she took the bag of the previous renter's things and decided she didn't want the mirror either. She pushed it out of the way and found behind it was a huge hole that someone had dug to get to her. Be careful what you put in your body. In 2014, a couple returned to their home to find it trashed in baffling ways. There was lotion all over the door handles. All of their shoes had had their soles ripped off of them, and someone had dumped an entire can of paint all over the toilet. Despite the obvious break-in, the police come and can't find any evidence of theft, so they leave thinking the couple's not in danger anymore. That night, the couple hears scratching underneath their bed and what sounds like a crying animal. Not wanting to find out what it was, they leave and call the cops who come right back and start investigating the house and they make a startling discovery in their bedroom. Wedged underneath the couple's bed was this 90 pound tiny little woman carrying a huge butcher's knife and a hypodermic needle. As they're taking this crazy lady away in handcuffs, one of the officers comes over to the couple and is like, so she was high on meth and for at least two hours, she had been burrowing a hole in the underside of your mattress with that knife to get to you. Have you ever had the same dream more than once? For one young woman, what her husband's recurring nightmare did to him would haunt her forever. One morning, the young woman's husband seemed very tired. His face was pale, sweaty, and his hands were shaking. She asked him what was wrong, and he said that he had a dream where he woke up in his bed, but he looked up and realized he was inside of a grave. There were people around the gravesite looking down at him, but he only recognized one person. It was himself, peering down on him with a large grin on his face. He said, you've lived long enough. Time to let someone else live for a while. Then he woke up, but that wasn't all. The next morning, the young woman's husband looked even worse. He said he had the same dream again, but he wouldn't say anything else. She began to worry. Every night after that, for an entire week, he had the same dream, and he looked visibly more sick each and every time. She decided it was time to get professional help. However, on Saturday morning, her husband woke up, came downstairs for breakfast, and looked completely normal. She asked, did you have the same dream again? And he replied, what dream? I don't know what you're talking about. This is why you should never open your windows at night. A girl named Emma recently moved into a brand new house with her dad. She really missed her old house, but knew her dad got a new job and it would help the family a lot. Her dad told her to go upstairs and unpack her things to make her room feel more like home. Emma started unpacking and started putting some paintings up. Her dad opened the door and said, hey Emma, I'm leaving to go pick up some more stuff. You're gonna be here on your own tonight. Emma said okay and continued decorating the room. A couple hours later, Emma got really sleepy and decided it was time for bed. She laid down facing the window and fell asleep. Suddenly she woke up to the most horrible noise coming from the window. It sounded like three large booms. She laid there scared until it stopped. Her dad came home early in the morning and said, Emma, I'm home. She said, Dad, there was something at the window last night. He looked confused and opened the window and then the horrible noise came again. Her dad looked at her and said, Emma, did you open this window? It can only be open from the inside. This is why you should always remember your parents' phone number. A man named Leah met a girl named Ava. The two fell in love in high school and decided to get married. They worked every day in order to save up for a house, but things changed when Ava became pregnant. They were both shocked to find out that Ava was pregnant since they were both young and it wasn't planned. Nine months later, Ava gave birth to a little girl named Casey. A couple years go by, Liam and Ava are constantly arguing and begin to talk about divorce. So the two sat down together and formed a plan to fix their relationship. One day, Casey goes missing. After searching for a couple years, there was no luck in finding Casey. Ava and Liam begin to move on and start life over. 15 years later, Ava and Liam are sitting on the couch when suddenly Liam's phone rings. Liam answers the phone and says hello and then his face sinks. Ava says, who is it? Liam looks at her terrified and says, it's Casey. Ava looks at Liam and says, how? I thought you killed her to spend more time with me. This is why you should never deliver a letter in person. Once a woman was living in Berlin after World War II. Supplies were tight, money was short, and everyone was hungry. But one day the woman was walking through a crowd when she accidentally bumped into a blind man. They started to talk. The man eventually asked her for a favor, to deliver a letter for him to an address written on the envelope. She agreed. She was about to go deliver this letter when she turned around and saw the blind man running away without his cane. She felt suspicious of this behavior, so she went to the police. The police then decided to visit the address written on the envelope to see if they could find anything. 
Then they made a shocking discovery. They ended up arresting three butchers who had been harvesting human flesh and selling it to the starving people. Then they opened up the envelope to see what was written inside, and it only said one line. This is the last one I'm sending you today. This boy lied about his age just to date me. Story time. So back when my cute self was a senior in high school, there was this new girl that came to our school. Long story short, me and her ended up becoming super close. I went to her house, spent the night, her family loved me. I mean, why wouldn't they? Anyways, she had a brother. We're gonna call him Binky. Me and Binky got pretty close. Now I want you guys to keep in mind, Binky didn't go to my school because their parents were divorced. So the sister who I was friends with lived with her mom and Binky lived with his dad who lived in another city. But sometimes Binky would go to his mom's house, which is how I met him. Now that we got that out of the way, as me and Binky were getting closer, one day he asked me, hey, how old are you? And I was like, oh, I just turned 17, how about you? He told me, oh, I'm 17 too, but my 18th birthday is coming up. After a while, me and him eventually started dating. Then one day, I ran into his cousin, who happened to go to my school. The rest of this story is crazy. 